922-7B97Z57E, Helmert 7, Datum, Coordinate Transformation, Zero-Fold Rotation, Transport, 5G, Well Study. There's the alien radio signal. Um, this is the keyword research, Datum, Coordinates, Helmert 7, Bursa, Wolf Transformation, the Modens Moldensky, Badiska's 10 parameter transformation, rotation vectors for UFO mapping, outer space transport vehicle found in line 22 well data. Okay, September 19, 2013 was when I was working on the research, and today is October 8th. So the keywords are from line 22, 7B97Z57A, coastal navigation, reference points, outer space, UFO ballistics formula, 5G well study, and also line 22, 7B97. Z57B, Coastal Navigation, Bohr Laser Transmitter, go de Geodetic, Datum, Shift, 5G Well Study, and Line 22, 7B, 97Z57C, Space Navigation, Map, Projection, Geodetic, Datum, UFO, Quantum Transfer, 5G Well Study, and then Line 22, 7B, 97Z57D, Datum Transformations, Geocentric, Cartesian Coordinates, Helmert 7, UFO Maps, 5G Well Study. So these are all together. So, Bohr alignment laser comes up and then datum shift, then transformations, coordinate transformations, and I'm still working on that keyword. Uh, quotes and diagrams are from a blog. It's coordinate transformations, August 2009, presented by R. Nippers at cartoweb.itc.nl. And the cartel is with a K. Let's see. It's K A R T O W E B dot I T C dot N L. Okay. So, datum transformations via geocentric coordinates to Helmert 7. Parameter transformation is considered to be reversible, i.e. the same parameter values can be used to execute the reverse transformation. Thus, the reverse parameters can be applied whereby as uh, these numbers and letters, and there's all sorts of calculations there, to transform the given point from pot stem coordinates to ITRF coordinates. Okay? You can always go to the blog if you want to look at all the numbers. The Helmert 7 parameter transformation can be either a posi position vector transformation or a coordinate frame transformation. Both transformations are based on the same definition of translation and scale parameters, but a different definition of the rotation parameters. The coordinate frame transformation assumes that the rotations are applied to the coordinates, coordinate reference frame, while the position vector transformation, also called Bursa-Wolf transformation, assumes that the rotations are applied to the points vector. See OGP Guidance Note 7 for details. The only difference between the two methods is that the rotation has changed sign. The position vector transformation is commonly used but is not universally accepted. It is therefore essential to communicate the related coordinate transformation method when exchanging datum transformation parameters. I, the Molensky, Molodensky Badikas 10 parameter transformation relates to datum systems through a rotation, an origin shift, and a scale factor. This is the same as for the Helmert transformation methods, but instead of deriving the rotations about the origin of the geocentric coordinate system, they are derived at a location within the points used in the determination of the parameters. Three additional parameters, the coordinates of the rotation point XP, YP, and ZP, are then required. The transformation is therefore expressed with ten parameters, three rotation angles, ABG, three origin shifts, DX, DY, and DZ, one scale factor, S, and the coordinates of the rotation point XP, YP, ZP, given in the source geocentric coordinate system. Compared to the Helmer transformation, the Molaldensky by Discuss provides usually a better approximation but the transformation is not reversible. And it's the same website again. Carto Web, K A R T O W E B dot I T C dot N L. And then there's the rest of it. So the keyword 5.22 datum transformations via geographic coordinates will be in the next video. Thank you for watching.